Okay, now I want to show you how to export from Houdini for another software. Usually, when you export the geometry, you can use, for example, the Alembic file or FBX file. For exporting FBX, obviously here we have the uh, strange situation now, because maybe you don't uh, understand that, but is uh, have one sphere and one box. I have my sphere here, okay. And here I have my box, my box with this point, okay. And on this point I use this uh, node SOP, is uh, the copy to points, is uh, the operation is very easy to understand what he do. He take this geometry, okay, I have two inputs. This input is for create the primitives to copy. And this is the copy to points, is like the, where is this, uh, geometry is go to copy so I create that for copy that and here I have my null object for creating the final points where is my uh, final okay and I have this fantastic and complex uh, geometry now I want to export this element for another software like uh, uh, Maya or Tits Max or Cinema 4D or XSI for example or Blender if you want or Model there is a lot of uh, software can uh, read this kind of geometry and for export I can uh, choose the Alembic we see the Alembic we have the Alembic, Alembic Group and Alembic ROP what is it the ROP? ROP is the um, the system for create the render uh, operation okay it's the same you can do inside here from the context of the out in the out in fact you can go here and obviously maybe from here is very easy to understand in render we have the create render node and we can create mantra which is the engine you can find inside uh, Houdini by default and obviously I, um, I install also the V-Ray, I have the V-Ray beta here installed and for that uh, you can see this. And the Renderman is another engine for rendering you can find with the bridge is working very well with uh, Houdini and obviously um, we don't see that but uh, uh, by default you can find Mantra and uh, this uh, other free uh, Free voice is Renderman, Renderman Riz and Alfred is also another kind of node from Pixel. And here you have the other output nodes and you have a composite, geometry, channel and dynamics. If I click on the geometry, you can see it is create that. And here you can select your SOP path. SOP path is, uh, uh, you can select the, the node and uh, where you can recall for export for example i want uh, my out geometry and the null object is out geometry and uh, you can export in uh, different uh, kind of um, extension like bgo uh, or for example you can uh, render it in uh, um, in Alembic etc. Why uh, maybe we can use the ROP is the output uh, context uh, and uh, why maybe in some case you can use from object uh, here you can use that uh, in that SOP because sometimes maybe here from the object you can say hey you can take this and render and stop it you can uh, render also in a background so you can continue to use Houdini or you can render to disk and so Houdini is uh, blocked is freeze you can uh, use that you can need to open another instance of of the software and uh, for work and sometimes maybe you can uh, from out you can here you can create the the chain of node for example I can create one like this. Okay, I press L. Okay, and maybe this is work is create one render for geometry, and uh, then when it's finished, is create this and uh, this is it's uh, the batch render. 
it's uh, very useful when you work, for example, for sky, some simulation, and maybe you need to create the cache here for your simulation, for example, for explosion, and then you can create the render from this. And this is very comfortable because maybe you can start to render and go to make a coffee or go to, to drink a beer or another things you want or continue to check your render is finished. It's very, it's very good. But uh, for that, we can see the example in the next time when is the time for creating the simulation. For now, we can go on our SOP and here we have the ROP Alembic and we can connect it. Here we can choose where is my um, file is saved and HIP is where is my HIP file is saved. So for now it's okay. You can also initial simulation optimize. You can render current frame is only this frame or the range you can set in the region if you have the animation, but for now we can save that, it's, uh, it's okay. The output, you can say the name, for example, uh, my sphere copy. It's a very complex name and uh, with the extension, it's okay with uh, Alembic. Alembic, it's very, um, I don't want this strange, but uh, in Udini, when you save this, is working only with one uh, thread. If you have the machine with, uh, for example, more core, more thread, we can go here. Okay, my CPU is not working uh, all my thread, but it's working only this, only one core. And this is the one limitation of Alembic. Okay, if you have the big Alembic for uh, export, maybe you can take more more time. I remember one uh, one day I tried to export my simulation of I created for one shot in one TV show, and it take uh, four hours for export all my cache, and this is very uh, terrible because I need to wait a lot of time for see that. However, I can press render, and it's render now is say there is the error. Uh, it's the warning, but okay, maybe because that is maybe is polygon, we can try polygon, polygon mesh, maybe because that is another aspect for our export for the Alembic. We can try, in fact, no error here. Inside the folder, you can find them. Um, my sphere, I, I don't write correctly, but uh, this is my Alembic is saved, okay? So I can recall and can import inside another software and use that. Another uh, extension you can save, it's uh, for example, FBX, you can save FBX ROP here and it's uh, work in the same way. Also, you can use also the file and save another kind, for example, OBJ, if you want uh, only this geometry. More important, uh, this kind of geometry from file, from BGO, you can save also with a non-commercial version. But uh, for create the and export FBX or Alembic, you need uh, to use the commercial version of Houdini, so the Indy licensee or uh, APED. And it's more important also, um, you can use that for geometry. Also, you can use for particles. But if you want to export, for example, the explosion, so the volume, you should use the um, VDB. But we can see how to export VDB simulation when is the time for creating simulation in VDB.